This is a 2011 Honda CBR125R. In this video, I'll show you how to inspect the air filter element and then you can change it if it needs to be changed. I partially removed here uh, components on the bike, body panels. This is the air box here underneath the tank. We're digging for that. To do that, I'll show you what you need. First, you need your key. Put it in there and pop the seat. Remove the rear seat and then come on along with me. I'll show you what tools you need. You need to remove that bolt there and that bolt there that hold the front seat. Once those are done, oh actually you need for those bolts this one six millimeter there six yeah okay sorry five millimeter five millimeter Allen key or hex key. I like hex because it's a hexagonal key. I don't know who Allen was. And then you need to push the seat forward and take it out. Once you're done with that challenge, the next thing to do is you have to remove some bolts on the fairing here. That one has been removed on the other side and that one has been removed on the other side. There they are, that's how they look like. Don't lose this little uh, uh, metal shim that they go through. And to do that, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. You need to remove these two bolts because you need to pry out the corner of this fairing. You don't have to remove this piece, do not. You don't have to, you just have to remove a corner of it because this piece is uh, the next piece underneath this one here has on its back side these little these little things that kind of engage into the gas tank there and that part also uh, joins these two body panels together so you kind of need to loosen those ones and then come to the gas tank you need a 12 millimeter socket and you need to remove this bolt there one on, the one in the middle and once you are done that you also need to remove that bolt from the fairing from the side of the fairing and also remove the bolt at the bottom of the fairing there all the way down there. come on around to the other side thereabouts there from from this bracket you need to remove that bolt so the fairing can do this it has to because you cannot possibly lift the gas tank without removing all of these body panels remember the gas tank here goes through a side panel or a side panel attaches to the gas tank so you can't lift the gas tank without removing all of these bolts and then you need a handy dandy wooden stick this is a 2011 model just like the bike and what fell on the ground was this part of the gas tank uh, gas tank mounting so that goes there don't lose it once you have the gas tank propped up you can get to work on the airbox. You just need a Phillips number two screwdriver and you have to undo one, two, three, four, five bolts and then the lid comes off like so. Alas, there is your air filter, uh, air filter element and it comes out like so. Inspect it. This looks not new but uh, fairly nice and clean. It doesn't have huge clots of uh, dirt collected in it. Let's see the other side. Looks fairly nice and clean, and it looks like looks dry as well. I, although it just uh, rained yesterday, and I rode the bike on a rain in in the in the rain. The air intake is here on this model, aiming towards the back, so it sucks in air from. Uh, from the middle of the bike here so whatever rain falls uh, not much of it gets to the middle of the bike here if the intake 
for the airbox intake was pointing forward and on some bikes it's right up here to next to the steering a whole lot of water is usually engulfed by the airbox and uh, that destroys fairly fast the paper air filter elements okay but on this model the air airbox's intake is pointing to the rear of the bike and uh, that makes this one fairly dry and long lasting so that's how to get to the airbox put everything back together in reverse order don't strip the bolts don't lose anything have fun forgot to mention a few more screws and uh, one minor body panel this one here which is just uh, held in place by uh, two tabs and rubber grommets and uh, obviously has also screws there so those need to be undone to get to the air filter and then this screw was mentioned but there's one more there and uh, one more further down here that one there you might want to loosen to make sure that the lower corner of the fairing here uh, comes away from the bike enough and to get to that screw you have to undo that one same on this side thereabouts that one so but uh, nothing else is uh, forgotten so that's that's all the body, body panel screws that you have to move away to get to the air filter